So in this video, I want to talk about the V-Ray Matte Shadow Material, specifically how it relates to product renderings. So I recently uh, took on a project that involved the creation of around uh, 20 odd products on a studio background. Now the client's specific requirement was that the backgrounds look uniform across the product line. Um, so my render setup, if I show it to you very quickly, is typically a product rendering setup. Um, if I just go into this window here, just bear with me for a second. So I've got the product here. Um, and of course, I've got my custom lights. I've got my photographic backdrop. I've got my product and I've got my V-Ray camera. Now, I've set up the lighting so as to emphasize the shape. Now, you can see this has got kind of a curved shape, so I set up the lighting so that, you know, I would, I would sort of achieve these goals of, of highlighting the shape of the product. So I don't use, you know, out-of-the-box uh, solutions. I go in and I create each one as needed. So... The issue here is that I needed to have this separate from the um, the photographic background. Uh, now, the way I've set up the lighting as well is to use uh, specific lighting colors. So if you look at this, it's a very subtle, cool hue, um, which is really nice in product renderings. So I wanted to create the same effects and um, sort of apply that you know, uniformly across the product line. So the solution that everybody suggests, I mean, if I if I very quickly just pull this up, um, if I look, if I go to the render settings, uh, real, if I I have a render here, just bear with me for a second. Okay, so I've rendered this out with the setup that I've just shown you, and it looks really nice. You know, you've got the, the subtle blue hue and, you know, everything's good. But if I look at the alpha, the alpha is white, right? So what I need is I need to have an alpha so I can basically cut this out from the background and then put it on a white background and maybe, and then once I've got on the white background, I can actually change this color. So the solution, based on what you see online, is that you you either use a v-ray wrapper material or you go into the individual pieces of geometry right here and you hit the v-ray properties on this and then you click the matte shadow option here right so if if, if i set this to minus one which is what they all recommend i turn on shadows and I say effect alpha that should help me pick up my shadow right so let's go into the camera view um, we'll go to the render and what we'll do with this one is we'll save it okay so this is saved now and now if I go in and I render with those recommendations uh, let's just give this a few minutes I'm recording while it's going so just bear with me. You know, I've rendered it at a slightly smaller resolution. So it um, sort of picks up the um, uh, geometry and, you know, you're not sitting here listening to me yapping for five or 10 minutes. So just bear with me as it renders. Um, and it's rendering. Um, and here we go and we've got the geometry and we've got the shadow which is great right and it's coming and it's coming and it's coming and it's coming and it's almost done uh, i've got one cpu running on this an i7 uh, so hopefully we should be waiting too long uh, it says less than a minute um, so just bear with me. And 
and voila, it's done. So if we hit the alpha, you've got the alpha and you've got a really nice mat for the shadow as well. So, you know, I could basically cut this out, stick it on a white background and we're ready to roll. But, but, there's a little problem. Now, if I compare my render with the photographic backplate to the render we've got here, I don't know if this is actually clearly visible to you, but you can see this looks a lot darker, right? This looks lighter, this looks darker. The hues changed. So basically the, the lighting effect that I'd set up with this whole uh, photographic background is, you know, it's just not happening in the render with that matte shadow material setup. Um, and this was obviously a problem for me during the project. And I just wanted to highlight this for those of you who use this option for maybe product renders. And if somebody knows why this happens, um, I'd be really happy to hear uh, because, you know, in all the tutorials I've watched, you know, it works perfectly and everything's hunky dory. Um, so obviously the solution that I had to employ here in order to get the result that I needed was to, to actually use um, a set of um, render passes. So I'll just quickly show you what I did. So we go to my Sunbirds project. This is the project. If I go to my render output, and this is the one. So basically what I did was I rendered out material ID channel, right? So you use V-Ray um, material ID channel um, with the photographic. So what I did was I just went back to the setup that I started with, which was, with me if I hit old W here and I pick these guys again and I go to the ray properties and I just uncheck matte object I set this to one I turn off shadows I turn off alpha and I close now this has gone back to the old setup so if I then save this guy into the buffer right we can just get rid of this one and so we've gone back to where we were and then I rented this out okay and I won't make you wait through this so basically I rendered out the um, original with the back plate and then what I did was I went into compositing program and basically cut out the shape right so what I did was I had I set up material ID and I think I also set up an alpha channel an alpha pass right so I think that you actually know an alpha pass would give you a white background so what I did was I used the material ID and I cut it out and then what I did was I went in and I rendered out just the background right so I had a number of angles so I rendered out just the background and hid the geometry, right? So we've got this here, right? I don't know if I've got the material. Yep, I've got the material ID pass here. So basically this has allowed me to cut out the, you know, I, I basically assign material IDs to, um, you know, all, all the materials in the shape. And then I cut this out. Um, Alpha just gives you a blank uh, color here, which is, where the problem begins so cut that out and then what you can do is you can you can hide the actual geometry if you go back to vray properties and you um turn off the visibility where's the visibility Visi no the generate core six okay so it's not in the vray properties it is actually in the object properties so basically what you do is you turn off visible to camera and it's just going to render the shadow that this object casts onto the geometry um, that we've got here and you end up with these passes right 
So then what you do is you use the mat that we uh, set up from here, cut out the original image, which is right here. So that'll just give you the shape. And then you overlay that onto this background, right? Like you, 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 you just render like a series of them and all what you can do is if, if they've all got a similar shape you render one out and then you just keep on overlaying them onto this right so that's one solution it's not clean you know i'd like to hear about why this happens and why it's not possible to just use the matte shadow material um, or the matte shadow v-ray properties option just out of the box so um, I hope this helps and if you like this video, please click like and, and share. Thank you for your time.